Oregon agriculture is unique. We have so many opportunities. We have hundreds of crops that no one else grows, but they need research. You can't just plant them and grow them. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to lay the foundation. And then the opportunities are there. Hazelnuts are important for Oregon because Oregon produces 99% of the U.S. crop. That's a real opportunity, a real niche crop that we can do well in Oregon and most places in the world can't. Eastern filbert blight is caused by a fungus that's native to the eastern United States. And the state quarantine kept plant material out of the state until someone introduced an infected plant to southwest Washington. We believe about 1960. Eastern filbert blight was found in the Willamette Valley one month after my arrival. So that was October 1986. And we've been emphasizing breeding for resistance to eastern filbert blight. Without the Oregon Agricultural Experiment Station, the hazelnut industry would disappear. This disease would, would wipe out the industry. But because we have new resistant varieties, it's expanding, not disappearing. The operating budget for the project comes largely from Oregon's hazelnut growers. So you've got a partnership between the industry and the Ag Experiment Station that makes this possible. We have identified at least 20 different trees collected from around the world that have genetic resistance to eastern filbert blight. Our releases to date have the Gassaway gene, dominant gene for resistance, but we have many other sources of resistance that we're using and studying and mapping and finding markers for. Our market opportunities are virtually without limit. We can sell whatever we can produce. Oregon has traditionally grown large in-shell hazelnuts. The in-shell market is about 7% of the world market. The other 93% is for kernels, They're used by chocolate makers or bakers. And so we've been ignoring that 93% of the world market or producing a product that's really not competitive on the kernel market. There's an opportunity there but we haven't had varieties adapted to Oregon with resistance to eastern filbert blight until recently. Nobody else in the world's doing this, and they're all beating a path to my door because they see what I have. For me, it's exciting to see my releases here and to drive up and down the valley and to see new orchards going in all over the place. And not only orchards planted by existing farmers, but many new people planting hazelnut orchards for the first time. It's exciting to see an impact 